Hi, this is Dr. Zananti from Zananti Surgical Design Group. Here we are demonstrating the setup and use of our smoke evacuation LEAP. The smoke evac fusion handpiece is packaged sterile and all electrodes can be easily attached and detached just like a regular Bovi handpiece and electrodes. The sail type loop is oriented in line with the handpiece buttons for orientation while it's being rotated in 360 degrees. The Smokevac handpiece adapter is made to fit any standard handpiece so that the Smokevac fusion handpiece is not needed. Connected to suction tubing, which can go to a smoke evacuator or wall suction in the operating room. Our tissue catch tubing kit can be used to catch fluid and tissue and protect the smoke evacuation filter from contamination. The tissue catch tubing kit can be hooked up to the smoke evacuator using a 7th, 8th corrugated connection and the tissue catch canister can hang free with the tubing leading to the handpiece. Here, the sail electrode is used without suction and demonstrates a substantial amount of smoke obscuring the view during this procedure. Now with the suction on, the Smokevac fusion electrodes with incorporated suction through the shaft of the electrode collects the smoke and keeps the view of the surgical site clear during the entire procedure with no need for a smoke tube attached to the speculum. Here we demonstrate the malleable suction coag that can be bent into different positions to access the area of tissue required for cauterization. The suction coag can suction blood into the tissue catch at the same time cauterizing the crater created by the LEAP procedure. This provides suction and coagulation simultaneously as well as clearing blood so good visualization of the surgical site can be maintained at all times.